No one's out here at Dookie Chase. Good stuff out here, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we eat some of the best chicken creole in New Orleans, then we feast on New Orleans style fried chicken at Dookie Chase's restaurant. For our restaurant review videos, looking for New Orleans best fried chicken and chicken creole. Dookie Chase's Restaurant is located in New Orleans' Treme neighborhood at 2301 Orleans Avenue, which is about five minutes and one mile away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Dookie Chase's opened up back in 1941 as it developed out of what had been a sandwich shop and a lottery ticket vendor. Chef Leah Chase got involved in the restaurant via marriage in 1946 and led the way in developing the space into a sit-down restaurant where she became known as the Queen of Creole Cuisine. Every time I've eaten at Dookie Chase's in the past, Chef Leah Chase was there working and checking up on her customers. Sadly, Chef Leah Chase died on June 1st, 2019 at age 96, so this will be my first visit to Dookie Chase's restaurant without her around. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So this restaurant is essentially composed of about three houses. They have a great bar back here and you can eat here during dinner service at night. And then in the other direction, this is the main dining room right here. Now, I typically dress up whenever I come to eat here. Tourists, not so much. Now today though, I'm actually just wearing a t-shirt because I've been out in the hot sun working all day doing FEMA damage assessments for Hurricane Ida. Now you can see they have some really beautiful areas in this dining room. They've got some beautiful artwork and certainly the carpets are pieces of art in themselves. So they really have a beautiful ambiance in here. And as we look back towards the main dining room area, there's another space back here where you get another little area of dining that's also beautiful with more wonderful artwork all around in all of these wonderful rooms they have. So there's certainly a lot of fantastic stuff that you might want to take a little time to check out and enjoy as there's so many interesting, beautiful things to see in here. So this is what I would certainly call a very nice, fine dining sit-down restaurant. And my past visits here, lunch had always offered their amazing option of a Creole food buffet. While going forward, now it looks like the buffet is gone. With the only choice of ordering off the menu. So we have soups and salads with Creole gumbo, sweet chili glazed shrimp salad, roasted beet salad, Caesar salad. Then we have sandwiches with oyster po' boy, Creole burger, shrimp po' boy, stuffed crab po' boy, ham and cheese, hot sausage, roast beef, then we have red beans and rice, fried chicken, shrimp clemenceau, fried shrimp, stewed chicken, chicken creole, stuffed shrimp, seafood platter, shrimp creole, shrimp linguine, then we have sides of french style string beans, onion rings, stewed okra, baked macaroni, mustard greens, french fried potatoes, sweet potatoes, potato salad, stuffed potato, jambalaya. In desserts, we have praline bread pudding and peach cobbler. Next, we have the wine list with a selection of sparkling, whites, and reds. And then we have a selection of beers with domestics, local, and imports. Then we have the cocktail menu with Leah's Grand Mimosa, Madisonville Mary, Strawberry Aperel Spritzer, Lavender Lemonade, Dookie's Rum Punch, Mira Margarita, Tanti Swing, Leah's Creole Queen's Crown, French 75, The Grand D, Treme Mint Julep. Then we have more wine with a selection of sparkling, whites with Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, other whites, reds, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Pinot Noir, and other reds, and then Rosé. So I decided to go with a chicken creole, which is succulent chicken, shrimp and okra summered in a creole sauce, served with jambalaya, except I decided to get sweet potatoes instead of jambalaya. So I was absolutely starving and this looks fantastic. Ooh, yes, let's taste it. Oh, excellent, excellent flavors. The sauce that this chicken is in absolutely kicks it up. There's shrimp in here and the shrimp and the chicken all go together really, really nicely. And then we have these amazing vegetables here. This okra is also wonderfully flavored. Now let's dig in and try some of these sweet potatoes. Ooh, yeah, so, mm, oh, I'm always a big fan of sweet potatoes. These are 
really nice ones. Now let's uh, kick up the spice profile a bit of this chicken. I like a little Tabasco in most of my food like this, so uh, we'll go ahead and see how that spice kick up went. And, ooh, mm, so the saucy sauce is quite flavorful, and I think the Tabasco will just kick it up a little more. And ooh, yes, a whole different realm of yummy, yummy flavors have just come out. And this chicken just tastes better and better with each bite. It's really moist, flavorful, plenty of just multiple, multiple layers of flavor going on. And then the shrimp on top of it all, give it an entirely other kick up of amazing flavor. And uh, intermittently having some of the sweet potato pieces as well, give it a whole different level of deliciousness. Ooh, I do love the way they cook these sweet potatoes. So flavorful. Okay, so we've just about totally destroyed all of the things inside here other than the sauce. I'm a little disappointed they give me a spoon. If they had given me a spoon, I might eat the whole rest of it like a soup. However, they did give me another tool that I'm going to use. So I got some bread. So we're going to use this bread to sop up all we can of this delicious, flavorful broth. And the sauce as much as we can on the bread and try to completely soak all of that sauce in this bread so we can completely annihilate and destroy what's remaining in this amazing, delicious Creole sauce. So just like I've totally destroyed this Creole chicken, go ahead and totally destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below let me know what you thought about this dish. And while you're down there, I'd really appreciate it if you'd go ahead and check out the link to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total with tip was $24.64. For my next visit, I got the Creole Season Marinated Fried Chicken with a side of okra here. Ooh, it looks really nice and delicious. This looks like some very juicy, delicious chicken here. A lot of heat coming off of it. Ooh, it is very, very hot. This chicken is mouth blistering, steaming hot. You can see all of that heat coming off of it with the steam. So this is some very hot chicken, but it's also got a lot of juiciness to it. So that's an important part of a New Orleans fried chicken is you want that juicy flavorness to it. Now, uh, I would not say there is any strong level of seasoning or spice to it. It's pretty bland overall. Uh, now, just from a chicken flavor perspective, it's a pretty good uh, chicken flavor overall. The fried chicken component is very nicely done. They perfectly fried it. They have very nicely got the chicken aspect of it perfectly cooked. There's just not a whole lot of seasoning to it. So I would not say this is up to the level of uh, William May Scotch House or what you're going to get over at St. Giacomo's or Krabby Jack's with their fried chicken, but this is still a pretty good fried chicken. Everything's going down very nicely and easily. Each and every bite, perfectly fried. It's perfectly juicy, there's no dryness to it. Uh, just from personal uh, flavor preference, I'd like a little extra kick of some spice and flavor to it. This definitely ain't that chicken from Popeyes if you eat the spicy Popeyes. So this is certainly a little bit of a tamer fried chicken. Now in the realm of fried chicken though, it's still a pretty darn good fried chicken. They fried it perfectly, all the flavors are really good here. Now let's dig in and try some of this Creole okra. It's a pretty simple dish, just some okra with some tomato in there. And some Creole okra will also add in a little bit of small shrimp as well sometimes. This one is just tomato and okra, but those uh, different flavors go together very nicely. So that makes a very, very nice side dish. So I do enjoy this okra with the tomatoes in it. It's quite a pleasant uh, side item. It really does add another level of texture and deliciousness that pairs very well with this chicken. So I do enjoy the flavors going on. So each and every bite of this chicken is certainly pleasant. I'm enjoying each and every bite. So now, just like I've totally destroyed this fried chicken, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this fried chicken and the okra. While you're down there, I'd really appreciate it if you'd go ahead and check out the link to my Patreon account. I do work for tips, so I appreciate any help with that.
So the bill arrived and the total before tip was $17.58. So thanks so much to everybody at Dookie Chase's Restaurant for some fantastic food over the years. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nola Gent channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nola Gent here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.